some other things about my cargo. Sure. So, the key, same yeah. as the other one, right? You can yeah. still lock in and unlock it by pressing that. Okay. But something that's different, but much easier, is putting mm. fuel in it. Put fuel in the car, all you do, as long yeah. as the car's unlocked, push that there. Oh my god, that's so good. It pops out, okay? And then it's just. So I don't need to put that. St oh my god, that is so good. Not anymore. It works with the central lock, and so if I lock it. Okay, not. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So it works like that. The, again, the skill is. Wow, this is an upgrade, guys. Ah, 100%. Yeah. yeah, so um, I'm going to show you the other bits inside, but if okay. you want to jump inside with me. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to the side. Those. Okay, oh, so you guys. See, you see the driver's side because it'd be easier for me to show. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, All right. I hold on to the keys for now, okay? All right. Oh my god, this is my new car, guys. This is my new car. <laughs> oh dear. Wow. Oh. Oh. Okay, dog. So let's do one thing. Let's turn it on. So okay. you turn it on is the same as the old one. Okay. So you just foot on the brake. Yeah. And then press the stop start, which is there. Okay. All right. On it goes. All right. Easy as that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if you remember, the handbrake is mm -hmm. automatic. Now, okay. when I drive him, mm -hmm. I don't bother touching it. All I do, put it into drive, accelerate, takes off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When mm -hmm. I get to where I'm going, put it into park. Handbrake comes on automatically. Okay. When I'm at a junction, if I touch the brake, it goes to an auto hold function. Mm -hmm. So it does all of that for you. I'm gonna put some fuel in the car. It's a lot of fuel, okay? So okay. I will go in a minute and put some fuel in. You can tweak on the engine response as well, so you can pull. What's that? So this is how we'll change. You know your Duke, you can do the same. You can put it into sport. You ever see that? Eco, no? I never did it. But with this one, if you look in front, mm. you can put it into sport, standard, eco. You can change how the engine responds. So what's the difference between eco, standard, was it? So essentially, if you want to put it into sport, it will become a bit more responsive. Uh, oh. If you want to put it into eco, then it's mm. economical. And a standard is kind of like an in-between the two. You know, That's the way uh, I look at it. Okay. You're okay with this, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. fine with this one. Climate control system, the best way that I think to use it is auto. Okay. And just a little temperature that you want. Oh, so the AC is working? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. The AC in that car was never worked. Is it not? Really? Ne it never, were, I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> you you, you, you guys, your business, you guys can sort it out. You guys can sort it out now. Yeah, okay. It will be a problem. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, probably this regassing. Yes, yeah, regassing. That's what they told me. I never did it. <laughs> fine. <laughs> It's on video again. <laughs> That's fine. So, uh, the climate climate control system is there. Uh -huh. 18 degrees, okay. You've got your heated seats here. So this is uh, got heated seats. Yeah, that is a heated front screen. So you know in the winter, Yeah. When you have to kind of scrub along. Oh, scrub, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. agree with this one. Yeah. Uh, That's the max defrost out of the back. Fine, yeah. That's the back. And that's the circle the same way within the car. Okay. Assets are here. Yeah. And you've got the sort of Nissan Connect system here. So from here, you can connect your phone via Bluetooth. Do you want to do that now? Yes, please. Yeah, um, let me get that done. Okay. Yeah. Um, wait. Wait, wait, wait. We have. Uh, we need to start with this. I'm sorry. I'm going to come in again. Yeah. Wow. This is my car. <laughs> I wasn't doing the video. Something happened. When I went. You know when we did the. Bluetooth. Wait, yeah. So the video went off. I must have. Yeah, All right. Missed. Come on. So the Bluetooth from the Bluetooth side, please. Yeah, so I mean, the Bluetooth we set up already, right? Yeah. So it's already set up. Yeah. yeah. Then you've got your audio here, which is your Bluetooth audio. Yeah. Your DAB, your mm -hmm. FM, and your AM, yeah? And then you've got, if you go back to the main menu, then you have your sat nav, which mm -hmm. include maps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save your home address here, if you like. Yeah, yeah. Remind me of your home address here. I'm going to take that out. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to edit that. So what we do is we click that, click that. That should be your home address, right? Yeah. Find it. Access the road, and that's saved as your home address now. So now, if you want to go home now, all you do is click on map. Click on it, yeah. Can you text me? And it'll take you home. Okay. Yeah, easy as that. Okay. You can go back to the main menu. Then you have your sort of your connections stuff like that. But we've done that already. Mm -hmm. Then you got the camera system, which I already showed you as well. By the way, if you press the camera a second time, mm -hmm. it shows you the near side camera. Oh. Yeah. So that means is that you you can stay away from the curb a okay. bit easier. Should you have to? Okay. Now. <clears throat> Is that all okay so far? Yeah, um, okay, so I know I'm always out footballing in the night. So mm -hmm. I, what I need is a, where is the yeah. beam and... So the lights are automatic. So they will come on automatically for you. Mm -hmm. If you want to put a high beam, you do it like that. Okay. Yeah, but if you're... Turn next right. When you say it will come up automatically, so how does it know that it's time for it to come up? It knows. And then it gets dark. Once it gets, it just comes up by itself? Automatically. Wow. Yeah, Jeez. Yeah. Okay. So again, if you're flashing people, it's the same way. If you want to have the main beam, although to be fair, I don't think you'd have to in this one because this one has got LED lights. Oh. So LED lights are a lot brighter if you're familiar with them okay. compared to yours with the halogens. Okay. So they're gonna, this one is going to seem like you've got your main beams oh. uh, in, a, in a better way. And they're not going to be flashing me thinking I have the main beam. That's it, yeah. Don't stop ringing. 
Uh, are they going to be flashing me thinking that you know some no, people no, no, that no, saw me it's not, it's not very it's uh, not on, t- on, on it's their not, face it's not okay. horrible okay. it's just you're going to seem it's going to seem better okay. just in general right. because that one over there is like I call it I call it uh, I call it uh, candles okay. yeah? this is like proper lights yeah so then over here you got the volume alright yeah then you've got these little arrows here that arrows here are very important because it allows you to change information through there yeah so you can change through like your digital speedometer your fuel economy your trip your music your safety features this car's got a lot of safety features right so it's got emergency braking system it has lane departure warning it has a blind spot warning so it's got a lot of safety features okay so through here you can check if there's any warnings on the car so it's giving us warnings right now because we haven't got our seat belts on okay. okay and obviously all the settings that will go through all of that but if i were you i'd probably leave it somewhere like here where you can keep an eye on your speed digitally okay. so you've got your dials on the side yeah you've got the ref counter mm. but over there you got the what's this one trip resets yeah so from there so you can reset your trip so for example if you press it i'll show you, you press it for me see that it's changed now yeah so it's, it's keeping an eye on how many miles you've done oh. based on the trip so if you press if you hold the button reset it'll reset to zero oh. yeah? so let's say for example you use the car for business mm. and you want to measure how many miles you do for business oh. that's how it does it so right now if you let you go now mm. you just count how many miles, how many you miles do from okay up until the point that you reset again okay that's how that works what's that one sorry so of course that there do you remember i told you this car so that's a bit of self-driving yeah you said you don't like that oh so when i want to be on cruise and be on the same yeah but so you're familiar with cruise control right cruise control what it does is obviously it keeps you it holds the speed right so mm. it keeps the speed that you select but mm. this one what it will do it will keep you in lane on its own so it'll keep you it will drive for you keep you within the lane automatically so the steering you see they just do that to keep you in lane what it also does is based on the car in front of you let's say you're doing 75 mile an hour right yeah. and the car in front of you doing 75 mile an hour too yeah. what this one would do if the car in front of you slows down to 70 this one slows down to 70. automatically so if i press this now that's what happens no, so that one there is for the steering assist oh the steering so assist if you don't like the idea of the car steering for you but mm. you like the idea of the, the car holding the speed mm. then mm. you can just take the steering off automatically yeah. and so then, then it just it, it just does the distance so what, for the cruise one where do i press for all me? you do when you're on the motorway yeah you're gonna hit the 75 the 70 yeah right? yeah yeah and then what you do is a little blue button here oh yeah you press that and then it's kind of ready to go right so when you're happy with the speed that you're doing all you do is press this one set that's it okay. two things very okay. easy okay and again if you're doing a trip to let's say i always use this example right i tend to do every year i go to portugal and i tend to go mm. to our guard from lisbon mm. it's a straight road yeah okay it's about about 150 miles mm. but it's beautiful because when i get the right car and i got adaptive cruise control set it up That's, and just sit go. behind someone and just relax just go okay. and literally just literally hold on to the steering make sure i don't fall asleep and the car is mm. just slowing down for me automatically so it's a journey that yeah. is less fatiguing for you because you don't have to concentrate you don't have much. To, yeah yeah so if you can if you can try it no i'm because i'm always on football run so we always go to motorway. Well, yeah or motorway i'm oh, always every try. saturday please i'm try. on motorway please try and so, most times i don't like i hate stopping you know but if i i yeah. can try i have try never it. tried it okay. again all you do when you're in the motorway, you think of me and said okay well, how do you, what is it just press that blue one there and when i get those set and press i set okay. once you get to the speed that you have press it that's it all right thank you so much yeah do you know how to adjust the mirrors huh do you know how to adjust the mirrors mirrors like this isn't it mm-hmm. and then up yeah and then to open the door is here yes yeah, is, is that the mirror is that's that the, the mirrors, yeah so the little the switch mirror. on the above above this one the- that's it if you want to do this one you got to switch a little bit to the other side all right then what is this what is so that just push it towards the left all right so left uh-huh, and then you move it okay that means it's this one that i'm moving that's it oh okay all right guys that's that bit okay thank you i'll read my manual where's my manual how much you Okay, thank you. This is all yours. This CDs, I take it. Uh, is this yours? It's my CDs. Okay, I was yeah. about to say. Yeah, this is the handbook for you. Don't forget, you got breakdown with the car as well. The numbers here. Oh. So you have a breakdown. You get it for the first year. You go to the menus and you got the service book in the little pack that I gave you earlier. Yeah. So, uh, locking wheel now, by the way, which is very important, is here yeah. as well. If you ever get a puncture, make sure you keep yeah, that keep in it, here. Yeah. Okay? Right, so do me a favor. Do you mind if I just borrow your car for five minutes? I want to put some fuel in it because it's got very low fuel in it. Okay. Is that so you want me to wait with you? If wait. you want to come with me, you can come with me. No, I, I can just wait. Just go and relax, have a coffee, yeah. and I'll come yeah. back in two minutes. I'm trying okay. to get my, uh, no my car. Thank well. you so much. Oh, no, guys, this is it. My car, my new car, my, 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 my bright new car. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Gonna, before you go, just give me one second. I'll go to the manager say, yes, it's good to go, and then I'll come and say bye. Okay? Oh, okay, that's fine. Right. All right. <laughs>
think of that, I don't think of that. And also, I've had some response as well. Uh, people talking about a build, your build. So, I suppose that's a, a polite way of saying your, your, your body shape, your, your figure. Um, that's obviously. Thank you, Edward. Thank you. Yeah. Give me your card, Edward. Your card. Yeah. Your card. Yeah, you don't have any. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. No worries. Uh, all right. No worries. Stay here. That's what I'm saying. I will. I've, I've made it. I've said everything about you. I said Edward. Go to Edward. Yeah. Columbia Edward. Guys, you know. Columbia Edward. <laughs>